gentlemen, welcome back to the ECC Division 2 Playoffs. We are at the grand final of Domino Esports Academy against DSEA Red. I am joined with, by Gavastrian. How are you, my friend? Oh, hello. Thank you, Chris Ross. And I'm good. I'm hyped. I'm ready to see these fi this final and these two teams kicking off against each other. It's going to be sexy. It's going to be good. And I am just happy to be here. So... Who do you think will, will win and why? Well, going off quickly, there's a, a poll that was just put, or not just put, well, that was put in the um, Twitch, and the majority of people voted for Domino Academy to win. Um, I myself think that they are going to win anyway, purely because they have been a very dominant force in league play and throughout the playoffs. They managed to come back from a two-game deficit, which is something that most teams will struggle to do. Um, so, like, for me, I think it's going to end a four. Ooh, I think it could go to a game seven. But with the way that this, this playoffs has gone, I think it's probably just going to be a four two. A four two for Dominoes. Well, I mean, could very much happen. Both teams, of course, did uh, get a bit of a break and did get time to reset. So, neither team is coming in uh, very strong. And yeah, for me, I want to. If everybody's saying Domino Academy, I am saying, hey, DSA Red, let's go. I love an underdog story. I want them to come back. They uh, they get to show what they can do. They got through Kronos, and they're now going to have to prove themselves against Domino Academy, which I'm very curious to see if they can get through that hurdle as well and take the entire thing. Yeah, I mean, an underdog story is brilliant, especially with the amount of hype that gets built up around it. Around? Around it. Um... In terms of the grand scheme of things, any team could realistically take this. DSEA Red, Red performed extremely well in that first game um, uh, in the playoffs. So whether or not they'll carry it through, both teams have had a break. Domino Academy have had a lot longer than uh, DSEA Red have had. <clears throat> so I don't know if that'll wager into it too much. It may do, but we'll have to find out. Um, again, um, if you are new around here, there is... A few links you can click. There's the Discord, which will allow you to participate in the next season. And the next season will be shown through the roadmap that is in news or league info or announcements. One of the important channels. Um, there is the Twitter that will tell you the um, scores and results and keep you up to date on um, league play and playoffs throughout every season. Uh, there is also the YouTube. So if you miss any of these games then you'll um, be able to watch them back. Watch any that you missed. Maybe this stream you've just come in, tuned in, wondering what's going on. You'll be able to watch this back, see all the build-up and see all the hype of everything that has gone on. Um, there is a Masherino link that you can uh, do ECCS6, all caps, that allows you to donate to the prize pool. And um, quickly, uh, well, two things. Thank you to Gedalians for sponsoring this um season of ECC. They've done a good job of helping us build up a prize pool. And finally, if you uh, are wondering how we're intending to do Division 1 for next for the next uh, uh, stream, which is tomorrow, um, we will have a B stream on ECC GG2, which is uh, you could just search it up and you'll find it on Twitch. And that will give you um, two games on stream. I don't know if I want to uh, tell you which ones, but they're, they're going to be just as important as every game that is going to be on stream so we're just making sure that you get to witness everything whilst everything is um you know just so everything's beautiful and you get to have casting for both both so if you want to um take a game if you want to watch one series but don't want to watch the other that's on the same stream then you can switch it over but we're going to jump into this game this is grand final it's going to be very intense and i just can't wait it seems like you can't wait. You are just so excited. And I mean, if you if you go to the Gadalian stuff and if you see Godala, just say hi for me. Say hi from Gavastian. I've known him for a while and hope he's doing well. And love that this uh, that Gadalian is sponsoring a tournament like this. Always good to see that the community takes and the community gives back beautiful Rocket League at all points. JV having an opportunity first, getting it into the center. Virgo just hitting the post. Tempest getting a shot early on, managing to capitalize. Well, Domino Academy starting off very strong. Virgo should have probably hit that one in. 
uh, Ice not able to, to get the right touch to save that one away. And it looks like um, a good start for them. This could become a very one-sided affair if this is the thing that keeps happening. But then again, it's still just a kickoff. Anything can happen from here and it could get weird. There you go. Control on the ball. Doesn't get the flick that he wants. He's just uh, managing to push it forwards. JV getting it around one. Waiting for this bounce. Awkward goes into the center. Hillian gets a shot. Tempest with a comfortable save. JV beating it just stoked. The ball falls into the center again from Tempest. Awkward hit there. Very dangerous from Domino Academy. I think they're a bit nervous. Yeah, Domino Academy seem a bit nervous, but they are playing very clinical. They keep, oh, they always keep player back already. They're already showing that they want someone on defense. Even with a quick save here from Virgo, they are showing that defense is their number one ticket and offense will come from that. But even the best defense can fall, especially with such pressure and Hillian Hunter with a beautiful touch. Hillian getting that angle just in front, or just behind Virgo, sorry, it seems. Managed to push it just over him, unable to jump high enough, and we're now equalized already. With a minute gone, two goals have been scored. I think it shows a bit of an error in one of the defenses. I mean, you can see Domino Academy have got three saves compared to the one for DSEA Red. But in terms of how well this will go for both teams, it, it is anyone's game, it really is. Yeah, definitely. And with, with a 1-1, one, one, nothing's really said just yet. It just looked like uh, Domino was getting a bit more pressure, a bit more room. But even even that, there are some mistakes happening right now. That touch was a bit too far. Marina's not able to get to it. And the attack falls a little bit short there. Opportunity as Hillian tries to take it clear. Stoke now has an opportunity as well. Tempest missing. JV putting it into his own half. Pass into the center, Virgo the one to reach, has an opportunity, just unable to get it as the save was made. Marinus needing to get back, it just picked up with a brilliant clear up field. JV needing to make sure that they don't give away an opportunity. Yeah, and the opportunities are, are going to be coming in more and more as I see both teams getting a bit more desperate like it, it it seems like both teams look at first like like teams that want to just uh, do a simple rotation make sure they have someone back but the moment they got they feel comfortable they start throwing a little bit more at their opponents they want to just get a little bit more into their heads and just start dominating this from the get-go and it's looking good for either team but good chances coming in here from domino mariners all good positioning on that backboard Virgo keeping this high in the air. Looks like Tempest is going for an awkward hit. Bounces it down. It just serves the one to reach. JV. Just leaving it as it just doesn't get it passed into the center. Hillian now pushing this forward. The ball bounces down to him. Gets a nice touch. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out for them. Awkward here as Marinus and Ijisto both go for this. JV has the opportunity. Ball falls into the center. Tempest with a shot. Marinus with a brilliant save. Hillian now. Looks like he's going to try and get a flick. Yeah, and I only like the change up. You see that from Domino. They want to get the shots in quick. They want to go from certain angles. And already the, the reads coming out of uh, DCA uh, are, are getting good enough to read those kind of extra shots, those kind of extra touches, and are are stopping them from happening and therefore looking a lot better on defense and that pass was good but Tempest defense is better. Opportunity now as Ijisto plays it over Virgo. Hillian takes a shot off the backboard. Marinus can't quite get his shot in as JV takes it around him and Ijisto. Virgo up. Same with JV. Takes the shot. Hillian with a brilliant save. Looks like it's going to pass into the center. Marinus getting the clear. Plays it up the side wall. Tempest beats him. Is it an open net? No, Hillian does a brilliant job of getting back in time. But now it's an open net to the other side. Istokje needs to hit it hard enough and Tempest not able to keep that one out. Istokje able to play that one away. Very well done there. Such a close attempt for a save from Tempest. So unfortunate for them. They may end up a game down in this best of seven, but again, Game one doesn't necessarily matter. It's a great lead, but again, you can fix up in the amount of time that you are given. Yeah, there's always enough time to recover, but getting that first uh, that first win really feels like 
a pickup moment. Uh, a, a moment where you're like, okay, good, we got the first win in, we're looking good. And I gotta say, for um, for D DSEA, they're looking very strong when it comes to their passing plays. They want to pass it into midfield, but they are uh, getting stopped more often than not. So you need to be careful that if they want to keep up these passing plays cl that close to the net, they do not want to give uh, any kind of opening for a counter-attack, because that kind of a pass to one of your teammates is also a pass to the enemy goalie that can then capitalize on that and do a quick counter-attack. Virgo passing that down to JV. is just though doing a good job of ha clearing it. Tempest unable to keep it up. DSEA Red secure that first game in the series. Very important for them. Yeah, that is that, that's a very 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 good start for them, and you can see that they have good uh, a, a a good idea of what they want to do in offense. They dribble it into the corner or to at least one of the walls, and then want to pass it into midfield. They prefer that right side of the field and attacking through there. So that's something that Domino can look at to uh, stop a little bit earlier. But for Domino's academy, they had some good chances, mostly because of mistakes in defense from DSEA Red. And it, it's up to them to start creating more chances of their own. Instead of booming that ball forward and giving away the possession I've been talking about so much, they should try to control the ball a little bit more, look for a little bit um, more precise passes instead of just booming it forward and giving away that possession and that control over the game. Marinus tries to play it into the center. Virgo doing a good job. Tempest. Now on the ball, takes it around one, has good control, tries to take it over Marinus, doesn't quite work out, JV already up, takes an awkward touch, the ball falls into the center, Tempest shoots it forward, can he get there before Hillian? Unfortunately not, JV needs to get a nice hit on here, plays it into the center, Virgo unable to reach it in time. Yeah, and Ice Dock here doing it very well, not able to get the dunk off the crossbar, unfortunate moment, but... They are looking strong. They are looking to take the chances and get back into this. And that it's, it's now up to Domino to find an answer, to find a way to curb this aggression, to curb these kind of passing plays and find find the, the net and goals for, for themselves and at least not, or at least not concede any goals off of the very structured offense we're seeing from DSEA. JV with an opportunity. Ilian swiftly able to stop it. Gets a nice flick. Tempest one touch. Passes it to Virgo, plays it across, bit hard, looks like Marinus is there to take over. JV trying to pass it down and Hillian is able to reach it. No, Virgo with a brilliant save off of the shot from Ishis though. JV unable to clear it, Tempest finally does it and JV now potentially has an opportunity. Yeah, I stuck here with a good block and playing it all the way to the other side. And this is one of those positions where Marinus wants to pass it into midfield. And there we go. That's the pass. But the blocks are here now. Domino seems to be ready for it. And this looks dangerous. Although Marinus is already back and able to save it. An opportunity as Virgo plays it into the center. Tempest needs to get there. Unfortunately, he doesn't get it past Marinus. Virgo. Has the opportunity to play it in the center. Hillian gets the shot. Tempest doesn't need to quite get that save. Gets bumped. Virgo plays it into the center. Can anyone reach it? Hillian manages to push it upfield. JV an awkward touch and the ball's falling into the center. Yeah, and it seems like both teams have their own style where Domino is going more on like just good solid touches and things like that tempest gets it by they get the first goal of this game and get ahead and that's in, in more individual play than it is passing plays for them tempest just doing a great job marinus couldn't quite get enough power to push it away to the side and it resulted in a goal there for domino academy yeah domino academy coming out strong now and Looking for more passing plays now is good for them because they need to have structured offense instead of um, just doing it the like doing it with the hope of a defensive mistake. You want to be able to create your own chances. You want to be able to do your own things, and that is now what um, Domino needs to do to get into that. Virgo had a great opportunity there. Unfortunately, it was wasted. JV gonna tap that down, bouncing it out. Hillian manages to get there in time. Tempest unable to uh, do much with it. Hillian trying to get the clear. Virgo again, passing it into the center. Ball gets cleared out. 
JV passes to Tempest, gets the shot, Hillian with a brilliant save. Marinus getting a good clear out, another shot this time from Virgo, a great save again from the DSEA red side. Yeah, D DSEA is getting their goal peppered and they're not able to keep the onslaught out. Virgo able to finish that one strong after uh, like the defense cannot play that ball away fast enough. Virgo did a brilliant job just beating the defenders there. They just didn't have enough time to rotate and recover. And now Domino Academy are two goals ahead with a minute and a half remaining. Hillian leaving this as JV pushes it forward. Mariners getting a shot. It's just a brilliant goal. Yeah, just a beautiful one there. Uh, Jones not able to play that one away in the bump goes out well. The pre-flip from Eistokje is his ability to get that one past the de to defender and just well played for them. They still need one more goal. It's one and a half minutes left, just about, and they have to score one more. Marinus plays it into the center. It's just a brilliant shot, equalizing it already. 2-2 two, two with a minute gone uh, remaining. Ah. Oh dear, ah, that's all, it always had it good, but no, the 2-2 two -two makes it exciting though. It is all to play for, for either of these teams, and even though this is just the second game in the series, they're already throwing everything in the kitchen sink at the ball. So that is, um, that's something I love to see, that either of these teams just know how to play for everything, even though it's just one game in a best of seven. Such a close one there, Tempest. Getting the shots off, getting a dunk, and JV cleaning up, securing a third goal. Still a minute remaining. Very, very close. And that minute is going to be a be a tense one. We see a lot more actual attacks being created by by Domino now, and a lot more defensive mistakes because of it on the side of the DCA Red. They are not able to close up against their man fast enough. We see it here. Tempest kind of securing the game here. This is one of those silver goals, you could say. Yeah, Tempest just powering that. A 1-1-1 one, one, one clubs of Brower shot. That was brilliant. Just past defenders, not able to reach it in time. And uh, Domino Academy seem to have comfortably, um, no, have a comfortable win here. Yeah, they look very comfortable right now, but that doesn't mean it's over. Virgo gets uh, his sh beautiful shot saved by Harley and Hunter, and the ball is for the counterattack. They need to score quick. DCA needs one more shot on the net to go in quickly to have a chance to put this one into overtime. Marinus can't quite drop it well. He just plays this forward. Tempest gets the demo. Marinus with an opportunity. Virgo getting the... Dangerous save, hitting it onto his own crossbar. Another opportunity here. Hillian hits it high. Marinus drops it down. Tempest managing to get there. Yeah, with these last few seconds counting down, they are trying to get that attack in, trying to get that consolation goal. It's probably not going to happen. It flies all the way to the other side. It almost goes in. Hillian at least defends their... Um, uh, their their pride with that one, but Domino ties up the series here, one one, and I guess we're going into a best of five now. Very very intense series. The amount of shots that Domino Academy had eleven of that to the five of DSEA Red. Very unfortunate there. Uh, six of them were saved by DSEA Red, but uh, four had gone in, so a few of them could have one or two maybe could have given another goal put them even further ahead but again it doesn't matter they've won this game now it's up to them to try and win three games tied up who's gonna take it um don't ask me i'm just here I'm, I'm mostly just here for good rocket league and that's definitely what we're getting so whichever team wins i know the winners are the viewers are the people who are enjoying them, are the people who are watching those are the people that are getting good rocket league so i just want just give me seven games. Just give me as much as possible because I'm enjoying myself immensely. JV unable to quite get a touch there. Hillian managing to put it onto the backboard. Marinus with an early shot, early goal at that. I think they managed to score an eight second goal before or it was um, Domino to do it, but it doesn't matter. An early lead already. 
yeah, it's a it's a good start, but we saw in the last game as well that we got the early start from DSEA Red, and then they started uh, falling behind a little bit because the pressure just became too much, and the individual style of play that we are seeing here from um, Domino is just a little bit too strong. So it is um, it is not a surefire thing yet, but a, a, a first goal is at least a good start. Helian with an opportunity, unable to play it into the center. A demo there. JV can't quite get it around the opposition. Ball falls into the center. JV does a good job of keeping it out. Takes the pass. Tempest, I think that was, couldn't quite get the, the pop off to play it forwards. And uh, now DSEA Red have an opportunity. Oh, this is a very good chance because nobody challenged that one. And although nobody comes up from the ECA Red, that was a good chance for them hitting it off the backboard. It seems that Domino doesn't like defending the backboard all that much, but this is a good chance. It needs to be finished. What a save there from Hylian Hunter once again. The angel on the defensive line is Hylian Hunter for the ECA Red and showing up once again. Virgo playing that across to Tempest. He manages to get good control, tries to take it around Marinus, doesn't work out. He just still plays it high. Hillian, one to go for a double touch. Marinus to shortly go after it, but again, no goal was scored. The pressure is still on though. Marinus trying to get it into the center. The only one there is JV Jones. Picks it up. Hillian gets it down, but can he continue it forward? Tempest doing a good job at the block. And yeah, as we can see, there's still a tendency to give away possession, to give away the ball, to not keep control of it, keep it close to your car and at least force a 50-50. So the back and forths are going to keep happening more and uh, so for, for a while more. But I really want to see either team just taking control, slowing down the play, taking control of it and dribbling and looking for 50s instead of just booming it to the other side, hope the opponent doesn't clear it out again and just stop playing ping pong basically. I mean, you could play ping pong, but in more of a team sense. I mean, you mentioned that you want to see more dribble and pa uh, and uh, 50s going on, but I think a good solid passing play to break down the defense slowly but surely is a brilliant play to watch and a, a, a well-deserved goal for one at that. Yeah, fair. And that's something that DCA Red have been doing better. They look for those passing plays, but if you boom it forward for a pass because one of your teammates is there, you're not giving away possession. That is the... That, that's like the fatal thing. If you give that pass forward and your teammate is not there to, to collect it, you're you're passing it to, to the opponent. And I gotta say, it is it is such a close game between the two of them that I was expecting with all the hype coming in from Domino, they were gonna be the clear favorites and they are looking strong, but so does DCA Red. They are indeed, as they manage to get two shots off there. Virgo playing this into the center once more. Alien with another shot. Mariners trying to clean it up. JV to Virgo. Virgo with a shot. The ball hit high onto the backboard. Tempest needs to reach it. No boost. Awkward hit. Mariners now continues to play. A potential goal opportunity, it seems, for DSEA Red. Yeah, chances here. And H Hillian Hunter keeping control of that defensive side of the field. We see Marinas and uh, Aistoki being that like more offensive side of, of, of this game. But Hillian Hunter always with the good save, with a decent touch. But that clear is not good enough. It's going to almost bounce in. But the save is there once again. Takes control and now tries to take it to the other side. An opportunity now is... Virgo passes that down. JV gets an angle one that's too far at that. And Tempest unable to play the ball back into the center. Virgo has the ball played over him by Hillian. Nice flick. Ball bounces. JV with a clear. Can he continue the play? Virgo has it bounce high. Doesn't reach it in time. Tempest the only man back. Can he get a solid clear? He can, but it might not be enough. Marinus, does he have enough boost? No, he uses too much to push forward ends up not being able to reach the double touch. What a try though. Beautiful attempt and unable to finish that one. It's 30 seconds. It's going to be very close now for Domino to look for that one goal. It bounces off the backward. They're looking for bumps. They're getting desperate and they get it in. The bumps and demos are working well. And that's the thing they needed to get past that big defense from DUC Red. JV pushing that bottom corner. No one was there. Good demo as well. Now tied up. 20 seconds remaining. 
Whoever gets this gets a major upper hand in for the rest of the series. Yeah, getting that 2-1 in in like the best of seven it gives you the uh, the momentum shift of like, okay, we need to win one more to get to match point and then one more to finish it. So it doesn't become like, oh, we still need to win three games. We still need to have that entire mountain to climb. It, it Every step gets a little bit closer. When you get close to like one or two more games need to win, that's where things become comfortable. But we're going into overtime probably and that means that we're going to get a very exciting game here. Ball drop down, overtime hits. Who's to win it? We'll have to find out. Kickoff strikes once more for the final time this game. Marinus keeps it high. Tempest drops it down. Virgo gets beat. Lillian waiting patiently in the center. JV short, shortly manages to get the block. Tempest gets a dunk off of off from Hillian it seems another opportunity as the ball falls into the center JV with a good save Marinus making sure that the ball stays in the opposition's half will it stay that way it's both posts so dangerous can they continue what a close moment there and Hellion Hunter just changing into an entirely different beast as the offense is now his his territory to go for. All that pressure from just one player is beautiful to see, and that's the kind of like top level play you want to see in a finals. And the ball drops down, the goal is open, no goose, but able to finish it off is I stopped yet. He gets the goal, they take the 2 1 lead, and Domino needs to find an answer. Brilliant goal there, so unfortunate for Domino Academy. DSEA Red are now 2-1 up in the series. They've done very, very well to secure themselves this place. A lot of people thought that it was going to be a very dominant performance from Domino Academy, but it doesn't seem the case. Yeah, it there's a lot more answer there. And I can understand, like, if you if you take each of these players on, like you take them on the eye test and you just look at them and the way they play, Domino Academy seems a lot stronger when it comes to their touches the way they play and everything and that is their strength that's what they are uh, like that's what their offense is running on what are the other side we see dsca red individually players they're strong players but they might not have those pop-off moments the way domino would have them but dsca red is looking for such looking for a lot more passing plays and using each other's strengths uh, to help boost the team forward. There's also the small advantage of them being Dutch players and having lower ping that could throw it into their favor as well. You never know. It's going to be a close matchup. I definitely think a game seven is imminent. Marinus plays it forward. JV unable to clear it out. No one's in defense. Tempest awkward hit. Virgo with a save that was absolutely necessary. Yeah, and like you don't want to give up this game at, if you are uh, if you are Domino. You don't want to fall behind and having to face multiple uh, match points against a DSEA Red. That is starting to look like a lot of momentum is coming their way. But the first good shots there, Helian not able to save it. And Virgo finishes it off and takes the first step towards the comeback for Domino. Very well done. Placing that just over Helian. Can't get the backflip. And Domino Academy are currently winning 1-0 in this game. If it keeps up at this rate, it's just going to constantly be back and forth. There you go. Can't quite get this, the clear. JV now going to try and push this forward. Marinus leaving it for Jusok. There you go. Awkward 50. Marinus keeping it high. Tempest with a good clear. Hillian committing to it dangerously. Tempest now with an opportunity. Will he score it? Passes it too far and makes them waste an opportunity. Yeah, that should have been in. Oh, that is what we in the business call a two-goal miss. That was an open net. That should have gone in. Just a little bit more um, more believe in yourself. You would have popped that past everything, got that ball in, and everything was fine. But the counter-attack was there. Marina's able to finish it. And that is... Bad news bear for Domino, who are digging themselves a bigger hole. Still 1-1, all the play for, but it's looking good for DSEA Red fans. Great shot off the backboard for DSEA Red. Gets another one swiftly after securing a goal. 
Let's have a look at this once more. It gets played forwards. Tempest misses. A demo on uh, JV, it seemed. And Mariner securing a second goal, pushing them in the lead. Yeah, I got to say, Mountain Dew Code Red is looking very good. And... I, it is going to be a, it's going to be an old play for him. that pinches okay Bye. never mind I'm I'm out this is that's that's voodoo right there a brilliant team pinch he managed to play it around the defender as well which is slightly slightly concerning he tapped it to his teammate managed to get the pinch with him around the man that was pushing up for it I didn't quite catch the speed of that, but that was amazing to push them into an even bigger lead. Well, to quote Spaceballs, that was ludicrous speed, obviously, because that is hard to top. That's almost impossible to save, even if you are in the right position. Oh, yeah, 100%. It just the pure sheer speed of a ball like that. You don't have enough reaction time to realistically flip for it. You just have to just guess almost you, you, you can't see it coming and sometimes you just sit there stationary not knowing what to do yeah and I like what, what's happening now uh, Jonah uh, Jones really picking up uh, like 4-4-4 four, four, four steam finishing off here as well as a start talking his praise he takes control of the ball gets it forward and gets the goal for his team one goal left for them to get to the tie game my word this is close I don't know how I feel, and I don't even know if I'm going to cope with the rest of this series. We're about halfway through, and it is an intense game at that. Still a goal in it for Domino Academy to score. Marinus needing to clear this high. He wants to reach it. Is unfortunately not. It's just okay. Same with JV. Virgo keeps it out. Hillian can keep the pressure up. Tempest keeping it around Marinus. Looks like he's going to take it all the way. Gets it around one. Gets the block. Does Marinus. And it results in Domino Academy missing their opportunity to equalize. Yeah. I like Mar Marinus' bunk there. Going up on the wall. On the wall and on the ceiling with no boost. Being like, I'm just going to fall right into your path. I'm going to read your mind. And if those kind of plays start working, then you get into the head of your opponents. And the mind games can start to make a fool out of the team that it was looking like the clear favorites. Hillian clearing this out. Virgo hitting it high, slows down, waits patiently, gets a shot off the crossbar. A demo, JV unable to secure his goal. Tempest needing to get it, hits the crossbar once more. JV missing the boost. Virgo trying to play it into the center once more. Hillian unable to continue the play as Tempest manages to take control. <laughs> Tempest and Co. really pushing that backward now and they get the goal. That was the pressure they were looking for. No longer was it flashy plays hoping to get a counter attack. No, it's constant pressure and it works out for them. Haley and Hunter not able to save that one. Very, very well done to Domino Academy, Academy to pull it back. JB Jones needing to push. Gets a nice pinch. Marinus and Hillian both on this side wall. Managing to both hit it and keep it out. Tempest doing a good job to pull it into the center. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite keep the same way. Ball hit off the backboard. Tempest with an opportunity. Brilliant save at that. JB another shot. This time saved by Hillian. Tempest unable to play it into the center. Hillian unable to reach it once more. Who's going to score this next and definitely most important goal? Yeah, it is looking like Domino wants to run away with it now. They gave a little bit too much space, but the, the pressure they have on now is not enough. One defensive breakdown and Ice Talk, he just finds that one touch you need to get it past the defense and get it in. They are up and 44 seconds to find an answer is Domino's Academy. They are really struggling now. A game down, if I'm not mistaken. So this is all to play for them. Marinus with an opportunity. Gets a brilliant goal. Let's have a look at that once more. He just plays that up. Taps it across. Marinus above Tempest. Top corner off the post. Brilliant goal. 
Yeah, we need to see a lot more defensive rotation from Domino to be able to have someone back to challenge those kind of balls. Because you don't want to give people like Ice Doctor any kind of room. You don't want them to be able to get a free touch, challenge them in the air, make sure they have to work for whatever they're doing so that they cannot get these kind of attacks going. But beautiful answer here. We could get one more goal in 24 seconds. We could have a tight game nonetheless. It is such a close game. Awkward hit there for Hillian as Tempest proceeds to hit it straight off of him and securing a fourth goal. Like you mentioned, such a close game. Who's going to take it? There is 20 seconds. These 20 seconds matter the most to Domino. They just need to score, but will they? I don't yeah. know. Are there individual plays going to be enough for... Virgo coming off of the ceiling here, popping in the middle, David Jones gets a shot chance, it's wide, and Ice Dog here, taking it slow, maybe a little bit too slow, Jones fakes it, it drops down just before the touch, and DCA Red take this crucial game, they are looking for match point, they could take it all right here in the next game. Marinus, this man has had four shots to four goals, that is amazing just to begin with. The amount of shots that Domino Academy had, being 14, shows that they should have scored more, but they just couldn't break the defense of DSEA Red. And the, clin <laughs> the clinicalness of Marinus has just given them the edge, and they've just managed to prosper in this game. They are on match point. Will they continue to win, or will it end up going to a Game 7? I think I I think it looks good for D DCA Red fans right now. They are they have the momentum. Even when Domino Academy came back, started rolling back into that offense, getting a few goals, they were stopped just in time. And I like the fact that we were talking about Haley and Hunter being that very defensive rock, Ice Stocky being that nutty offensive player, and Meredith being like, "Hey, you're talking about my teammates here." But what about me? I will show you some good Rocket League, and then you'll be talking. And he did. He showed us what he can do. And, and it was what what he did was good. And that, quite frankly, is it? He, I played against both of these teams. They're both stupendously good. But I think at the moment, DSEA Red are giving an edge over Domino Academy, and they are just proving why they deserve to be first place in Division Two. Yeah, I mean, it is, oh God, I'm, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted that the games have been going like this. We saw one team just being that bit more dominant in, in their solo plays with Domino's uh, Academy, but the team play and the rotation that is coming out and the passing plays that are coming out from the UCA Red are just on a different level. They are here as a team and they're going to win or lose as that team. Marinus with a shot, Tempest with a comfortable save. Hillian drops that, or pops that high. JV the only one to push for it. Unable to make much from it. Ah, Domino, another shot opportunity, but Hillian clears this forward. The ball off the ceiling, it just reads it poorly. Same with Hillian. Can't quite get a bump or demo on JV, but Marinus plays this into the center. I mean, it's, it's good to see it. A, a Dutch team come together like this because I gotta say uh, the Dutch do not have a good football team these days but at least we have DCA Red and they are doing amazing. They really really are and I know this has been said in chat but if you haven't uh, been aware or if you aren't aware this is Norway against uh, the Netherlands at the moment. Norway in Domino Academy. And both teams are playing very well and almost an own goal there from Domino, but they did very well to communicate, to not have it, uh, have them concede. Yeah, they are fighting back very well now and Hill Hilly and Hunter trying to get that ball away with JV Jones, able to keep control, keep up their pressure. And this is the this is the moment where Domino's Academy becomes dangerous. When they can set up these kind of pressure plays, they can keep on going, they can become the, that dangerous team. Tempest gets the redirect, bringing them a goal ahead. Let's have a look at this. JV popping that high. Tempest beautifully reading that, putting it behind one above the other. 
securing a goal at half time. Yeah, and with half the game to go, we're gonna have to see a monstrous play and 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 team play out of the DCA red red guys. They need to show us what they got and what kind of good play they they can they can present for us. But these are not the touches you're looking for if you want to win. Not at all. Tempest getting another shot. Virgo able to get the double touch. Pops it high. JV misses. Tempest with the shots now 2-0. Yep, they are starting to look to secure game seven in the books here. Uh, they want to go there. They don't want to fall behind any further. They want to keep pushing on, but it is it is still such a mountain to climb though, because we only have one win for them and DCA Red is still very far ahead. Even if they, uh, they lose this one, they still have two more games to try and get back into this. So it's not the end of the line for them yet. But it's looking good for Domino. An opportunity again. Domino almost could have got another goal there. Marinus needing to get this around JV. The ball floats into the center. One misses. Open net. Marinus comfortably getting that save. Floats to Hillian. Hillian tries to play it around JV. He manages to tap it down. Tempest. What a save from Marinus. Keeping the minute. A minute and a half. Hillian needing to get this goal. Pushes it forward, almost gets the shot off as Tempest gets a comfortable save. Yeah, and I don't like that kind of clear. There, there was a there was a moment where you could easily have passed that to one of your teammates, and DCA Red's kind of falling away from that style of looking for passes and is now more desperation, slogging it at the goal, hoping that something sticks and and nothing has up, to, up till now. Maybe this one does. They do get that one, but it's not the style that they have gotten this lead with, so it could still look bad for them. Hillian doing a brilliant job and just securing that goal. There is a goal in it with a minute remaining. Who is to take it? Remember, if DSEA Reds do manage to get this win, they will win the entirety of Division 2 playoffs. If they don't, there's still a few games in it, but JV manages to push the lead to an even greater one. Yeah, and not only getting that extra goal means that they, they can secure this game, it is also a statement for the games to come. They're saying, we are going to win this, and we are going to win this convincingly. We are pushing you to the game seven, and then we're pushing you over the edge and taking this one from you. DSCA Red needs to start worrying and needs to start looking for an answer to this kind of onslaught play that we're seeing here. Hillian trying to take good control, doesn't work out. Virgo already on the ball. Zero boost, however. Marinus missing. Wasting the opportunity. Tempest unable to get that goal. Hillian trying to get the clear. Missing the second touch. Tempest has it saved. Again, another goal. Virgo this time to score it. It's 4-1. We're going into a game six. Yeah, and it's it's those kind of kind of things that are looking very dangerous. When you see a clear happening and it's dropping into midfield once again in front of the net, it becomes so easy because these dominoes guys, they're not bad. They know how to score. Uh, they know how to hit the ball well, and they will hit it towards your goal once again. So once you've depleted all your defenders, you're going to be in, 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 in a bad time, in a bad position with these kind of players that know how to finish it. And now they're even showing off a little bit. Tempest really putting on his carry pads here. Tempest with a brilliant air dribble. A few touches was enough. Managing to get it over the defender, placing it top corner after the bounce. And they are 5-1. There's not more much else needing to be said. 10 seconds in the game. Pretty sure it's secured for Domino. Yeah, Domino ex uh, securing this game and maybe a consolation goal not uh, still, still in the cards, but probably not. Do you say... Do you say red is looking like they are a step behind the play right now? They are looking like a team that's not completely ready uh, for the onslaught that Domino's Academy is showing us right now. Yeah, they just need to step it up, figure out what they're doing wrong. Otherwise, they're just gonna have they're gonna crumble and throw away the the one game required to take uh, the entirety of the season the series. Yeah, and 
it it was a story of DCA Red really looking for those passing plays and playing around that. But Domino's Academy has said, okay, we're going to shore up our midfield. We're going to be pushing up that pressure and playing from that pressure. And that is what is working for them. They are... Uh, they are looking a lot stronger, and DCA Red is letting themselves be pushed back. Again, they need to either take control of the ball, slow down the play, or they need to start looking for passing plays out of defense, like shorter passes to one of your teammates so you can boom it to the other side instead of just giving it away in a corner to Domino's Academy where somebody can challenge it again, or just booming it to the other side in Domino's Academy to saying thank you for the ball and starting another attack with more pressure while you couldn't have had the time to grab some boost. It's going to be close. We're on game six. Domino needs two games to take the entire series. The SEA Red only need one. If it goes to that very last game in this best of seven. Oh no. Hellion Hunter should have left that for Marinus. He could have finished that one there and taken the lead here. Good chances already starting to show up for DSE Red, but not able to finish them off yet. Such a close opportunity there. This is going to be a very intense potential final match. Vigi Stoke places it down. JV able to reach it in time. Ilion almost gets the goal as Tempest gets a comfortable top corner save. JV. Clearing this forward. Tempest to get the early goal already a minute in. And they're taking a page out of the DCA playbook. Looking for those passes, Jones. Booming that into the middle. And Tempest is right there. Taking it on the nose. Hitting it past. And getting it in the net. And those are the kind of things that... If you have a good opponent, they will adjust to your playstyle. They will know what you're doing. And they will start taking advantages of the holes. And if you're doing something well, well, they'll take it. They'll use it against you. JV with an opportunity as the ball floats into the center. Virgo with the angle that was just perfect. Let's have a look at this again. I believe Marinus was just too quick for it. The ball. Oh, he got bumped, sorry. And he ended up just unable to recover. Virgo with the easy goal, securing it 2 0 already. Yeah, uh, Domino seems angry. They do not want to go into that silent night yet. They want to keep on pushing. They want to take the number one spot. They want to move on to the next division. And they are giving it they, they are all to get there. Just Stoke with a flip reset. Drops it. Marinus unable to reach it in time. JV gets around Hillian. Passes it. Almost gets it around Marinus as well. Ball falls down. A brilliant dunk. Just hitting the crossbar, Virgo unable to get the clear. JV finally does it. Hillian struggling to get it out of his half. Oh, good control there from Hillian. Very smart play. Keeping that ball close to your car means that the uh, the opponent does not have a chance to just shoot it into the net and have to go into a 50-50 with you. Using that... They tried to get the ball away. It was not enough. And again, that pressure is just building and building. Virgo with a nice shot. No one was there. So unfortunate. So, so very unfortunate for DSEA Red. If they, if they can't turn it around, they have got the an immense amount of pressure of the game at seven. Yeah, getting pushed back all the way to game seven. Although I have to say... I saw DSEA Red having a, having a lot of good chances. They had the opportunities to, to hit the ball in. They were unable to do it. So they need those clinical finishes. They are getting a bit too desperate. They need to start looking for um, like their prolific scores there, Eistokjes there, Marinas, to, to really finish off those balls well instead of hitting the crossbar or hitting the post and not getting it past the defender. Brilliant job from JV keeping it out of harm's way playing it to Tempest manages to play it around Marinus looks like there's an opportunity here ball falls to Marinus again unable to pass it to his teammate properly JV with a nice dunk looks like they're gonna have an opportunity they go up to Tempest just unable to get the shot off 
Yeah, and bouncing it off the backboard there seems like a good chance, but if no one's able to follow it up, it's, it's a bit of an empty gesture, and uh, Jones not with a good clear. Marines tries to take control now, but it's still Tempest with a good shot, and it seems like it's all Dominus all the time. We need a change-up in strategy from DSEA Red. They need to do something differently. They need to back up a little bit. They want to be too far forward. They are a little bit too greedy. They are getting close to finishing it off. And the jitters might just be getting the best of them right now. Very well done. Domino have done very well to say that they were struggling against a match point team. They've pushed it back and have the potential to win the whole thing. This, this is this is amazing. We're going to a game seven and anyone, and I mean anyone, can win it. Yeah, because we did see a lot of good chances from uh, from, from, from the DSEA, but Domino right now is not making this, the same kind of mistakes that we're making in games one, like in the games they lost. They are pushing back a lot better. They're keeping control. These are the kind of mistakes I'm talking about. That's not what you want to have happen. And, that's the first goal. It's a minute left, so chances are small, but it could still happen. And Marinas takes the first step towards victory. Very. I mean, there's a minute remaining. Three goals can be scored. Well, they. That is the question, because DSBA Red are so very close to keeping in this. I mean, if they do get a couple of goals in, like let's say they get one more goal within the next 10 seconds, they are starting to believe again. And that is something they probably need because right now they're they're playing desperation football. And that just means they don't believe in themselves enough to be able to win this one. They probably got further than they did because everybody in the mother said, well, Domino is probably going to win this because they're a stronger team. So they should be able to finish this one off. But DCA has fought valiantly and are now so close, but it could just be nerves getting the best of them. Hillian clearing this out. Unfortunately, his teammates unable to reach him. Manages to get a 50. Marinus really going to struggle now. Last man back. Able to clear it around one. Tempest with another shot. This time saved. But they still have the pressure on DSEA Red. Yeah, the hits are coming, but they're not sticking around well enough. And good pass down, still good, good save. Domino Academy take this one, and we're going into game number seven. I'm hoping you are ready for all the hype, because this is the game. This is all to play for. We went from a best of seven to now single game wins. I mean, I'm completely out of energy in terms of how much these teams have put everyone through everyone here watching are probably just like they're just head and head in their hands just not knowing who's gonna win and it's truly gonna be an amazing game the question is though who is yeah. gonna take it who is going to take it? Well, you said Domino Academy and they were going to take it quickly, but DCA Red has fought back. The momentum, though, is on the side of Domino's Academy. And it's the biggest thing is who's going to get the first goal? Whoever gets the first goal is going to get in a comfortable position and they start going to play a little bit more relaxed because both teams are now on the verge of a, of a, of a Division One berth. And that is going to put some stress on you as a team and as individual players. Virgo playing this forward and just pushes that to Hillian who manages to keep this alive. Another center pass almost formulates an opportunity as JV has the ball placed on his hood, just missing it. Tempest, good control, gets the flick. JV securing the first goal brilliantly. And this is the kind of pressure and kind of plays that we are expecting, which I was expecting from Dono to come out in the beginning. It's now them showing their skill and showing their speed to be able to get past all of the defense. And that's the difference. Like, I, like I, either team could win this, but it looks like individually it's still the stronger team for Domino, and they are finally playing on their own speed, on their own terms. And Do uh, DZA Red is having a hard time trying to keep up. Tempest playing that into the center. JV, the one to push it. Manages to almost tap it around Hillian. Tempest's already up. Tries to get the angle. Marinus just unable to push it. 
Tempest keeps it alive, tries to keep the pressure. JV with the shot, just hope with a brilliant save. Virgo almost getting that goal. Tempest playing it into the center once more. Marinus to clear it comfortably. No one was there, surprisingly. Virgo needing to get this clear, needs to get the ball away, needs to get themselves a goal extra to keep a solid lead. Oh, but here's the chance. Virgo not able to play it away well, well enough, but Tempest taking control here. Virgo tries to step, step it over Hillian. Good pass to Eistokje, and it's coming off the backboard, but the clears are good now. No more mistakes coming out of Domino, and that means that just booming the ball forward is not going to work for DSEA Red. It, they need to work out something that's going to help them. Their defense is slightly shaky at the moment after that last game. I can see why. But they're, they're doing a very good job of, hold, of holding on this time round. Ilian tries to play it to the side, keeps it up. Tempest shoots onto the backboard. Marinus gets the comfortable clear. JV really, really almost put himself in, in danger there. My lord what a play we have here developing for both and pass back for hillian hunter hitting off the backboard and again tempest i don't know how many times we've already seen him pop off from that back wall playing that ball forward once again the pressure coming out of uh domino academy is looking like stronger than what dca can handle and it's now going to be like a chance counter attack goal with a good finish that DCA need to get back into this one and they only have two minutes to do it. JV tries to take the shot, a brilliant block from the SEA Red. JV plays it to Tempest and it's 2-0. Two minutes remaining is the fate sealed. You could almost say it is, but kickoffs in Rocket League are volatile if you have not taken the time to practice them. And it is going to be on uh, Domino to take control from this kickoff. If they can't, good chances DSEA Red is looking very strong. And they do get the kickoff goal. Now just one goal in it and kickoffs are always, always very spicy. It, I mean, Hillian managed to just push forward in time, got the goal, now it's 2-1, a lot closer of a game than Domino intended for it to be, and um, as we've mentioned, this is game 7, so there is no more room for slip-ups. No, it is, it is all, it is do or die, it is the last seconds, it is the fat lady warming up her vocal cords to finish this game off, and oh my word what a game we are getting dca red is fighting back beautifully but they have one and a half minutes to try and tie up this game and get on the board for the overtime the good block is there but the chance oh getting ruined it, it has happened for dca red a little bit too often good charges get ruined because one of their other teammates wants to take control of the ball and gets an unfortunate touch there virgo let's go <laughs> sorry i really want to say it i know but tempest with a brilliant 50, Virgo getting the read just in front of the defender, near post and all, making sure they keep this lead that they want and deserve. Yeah, they are greedy for it, definitely. And uh, the ball drops, unfortunate for DCA Red, but they need to look for some passing plays. They need to get a goal quick within the next 15 seconds so they have a chance afterwards, or they just need to get a goal in general and then maybe look for a kickoff goal quickly after if they have the time. But right now, it is looking like Dominus Academy, or Domino Academy, is the stronger team and able to walk away with this one. 40 seconds to tell the tale, and let's see if we can get the comeback, the miracle comeback for DCA. Marinus plays it on the backboard. Hillian passes it across. No one's there. An opportunity is JV hits this into the center. And Virgo secures the fourth goal. I think this is it. Virgo is saying... Okay, we had our hype, it was fun, we gave them enough, but I am sealing this deal right now. And unless horrendous kickoff things happen, this game is going to Domino Academy. Tempest plays it across, tries to take it on his own. Marinus manages to reach it in time. JV missing, Virgo. 
Plays it on the backboard. Marinus just missing Hillian this time. Trying to get the 52 players there from the SEA Red. They really need to put up the pressure, but at this point, I don't think it matters. Five seconds, three goals to make, and it's Domino Academy that have sealed and won Division 2. Yeah, Division 2 is theirs. Domino Academy finishing it off very well. In the end, we saw very good fights there from the ECA Red. They came back so strong. They were up ahead in a 4-1, uh, or they were up ahead 3-1. They needed one more to finish it. But the heroic fight from Domino Academy. And once they started taking control of, of this series, they didn't let go for even a second. They really did a great job. But that is it from ECC for the Division 2 playoffs. Tomorrow we have um, Division 1. To those that are wondering, again, the games, all games will be streamed. There will be a second uh, count streamed, uh, streaming these games, being ECC GG2. If you check that out, it will have the, uh, when we go live, it will have the games on it. There's only going to be two games on there. Um, one of the first rounds and then one of the second rounds, just so we can kind of get every game on stream. And you can switch back and forth depending on which one you want to watch. So, but um, that is it from us. Uh, thank you all for watching, and we will see you all tomorrow.